Sasha! Taking off her feet! Down goes Marina Shafir! It is now time for the main event of the evening! Are you ready? <laughs> the main event of tonight will be contested in up to three rounds. And it will be for the Combat Fights Unlimited Championship! From Soroka, Moldova, weighing in at 145 pounds, standing at 5 foot 7, she is an MMA practitioner, the supernova from Moldova, the problem, Marina Shafir! Former member of the Invicta MMA roster. And of course, Alyssa, if you go back recently here on IWTV to Cage Combat, Masha Slamovich defeated Jordan Blade and retained that championship via knockout. You're essentially talking about a knockout artist versus a submission specialist. Something indeed has to give here in this main event at The Problem. You are absolutely right, Blake. And I think, too, something else I've noted is that this is not the first time that these competitors are facing one another, but certainly a unique atmosphere here with the cage at CFU. Slamovich checking in at 151 pounds. Marina Shafir, of course, at 145, competed in the MMA circuit as a featherweight, so she stayed on weight pretty much in the featherweight division here. Yeah. Bell sounds. We are underway. Main event time. Title on the line here at The Problem. Three five-minute rounds of action. Post your body in his mouth. And there's certainly already just a, a big fight feel that is permeating throughout the room and, and emanating from within the cage. Ever since this one was announced on IWTV, the tension has been building, and of course, this is one everyone came to see. Seeing a lot of strikes early out the gate from both competitors. Of course, I'm sure wanting to keep distance from one another while they feel out each other. Shafir, of course, trying to keep Slimovich honest with those leg kicks. And Shafir, of course, has the experience when it comes to the cage-like environment, of course, an MMA background. But with Maja Slimovich being the CFU champion, that has to still give her an advantage. Well, I'm sure certainly within this setting, you come in with a certain amount of confidence. But like we said, it's, it's brimmed on the arrogant at times for Masha Slamovich, and could that possibly be an undoing for Russian Dynamite? Nice jab to the midsection there by Marina Shafir. Playing a little defense, covering up from the Russian Dynamite. Because I think something with the problem with Shafir is that whether it's wins, loss, draw, she's always humble and always learning and always hungry. And Slamovich with that dragon screw leg rip right into the ankle lock submission. Nice job. I'll try to control the pace right here as Marina Shafir trying to take some tension off, get back to her feet. Shafir using her longer limbs to wind around her opponent. And Shafir now looking to maybe grab the back of Slamovich. And look at Slamovich slide right through as these two grappling on the canvas right here. Jockeying for position, the CFU Championship hanging in the balance as we're in round number one. And you can already tell these competitors are so well matched for one another. It's There's questions and there's answers and each have them for one another. As Shafir does have a six inch height advantage, but right now with this bout being grounded, Slamovich essentially neutralizing that advantage. As Shafir trying to get back to a stand up position. Check this tree down. Words of encouragement from exactly Julia Smokes to Masha Slamovich on the outside and Marina towering over her opponent. And you see Shafir trying to dictate the pace standing over Slamovich right now as Masha grabs side control here as Shafir trying to sprawl out of it. Nice job to shift her weight. Oh, a big open palm strike to the midsection, thundering. Of course, completely legal here in the CFU environment. Oh, 
as Julius Smokes trying to build some momentum here from Masha Slamovic. Certainly the biggest test of Slamovic's career as CFU champion. As Shafir trying to manipulate that arm maybe to a Kimura, but instead a judo throw. And she has an extensive judo background, of course. Been training in judo since she was about six years old. Jiu-jitsu since she was 22 has Shafir. And honestly, aside from when she had her first child, never took a break from training. And of course, we know of some of her training partners, the likes of Shayna Baszler, Jessamyn Duke, and of course, worldwide sensation Ronda Rousey, known as the four horsewomen of MMA. And Shafir certainly picks up her weight in that foursome. And you see it right here with that single leg pickup. And now trying to go back to work on that left knee of Masha Slamovich. Shafir pulls her weight, but she also throws weight of her opponents. And now are manipulating that ankle here. And certainly not how Masha was hoping this one played out. And now look at Shafir. Innovative submission maneuver right here. Slamovich was ducking her head, but Marina just able to capture. Marina trying to piece some submissions together here as Slamovich trying to turn her over. Nice job by Shafir to shift her weight a bit. Let's go! Oh, and the head and arm triangle perhaps could be attempted by Marina Shafir. Nice escape, but she gives up the back yet again here to Masha Slamovich and the Russian Dynamite, the CFU champion. Oh, geez. With a shot right to the back of the head. The referee utilizing his discretion here. And you see Shafir grabbing against the cage. Shades of Amber Librock. The difference here, of course, is that Shafir is upright, grabbing the cage, perfectly legal on the oh, feet. Oh, no. Taken down to the mat by Slamovich. Nice waist lock takedown by Masha Slamovich, showing off her power. And now trying to grab that rear naked choke, as I do believe we're heading towards the end of round number one. It's really been an impressive showing between both competitors, but Slamovich just lobbing the clubs to the back of the head of Shafir. And Alyssa, that will bring us to the end of round number one, very back and forth affair. And while at home on paper, it might look like Marina Shafir has the advantage with her mixed martial arts background. You have to tip your cap to Masha Slamovich, the Russian Dynamite looking very impressive here in this championship bout. I'm unable to decipher the words that are being exchanged between Slamovich and Shafir. I can't imagine that they're too kind. Certainly not, but you have to notice here, Alyssa, as well, Julia Smokes, of course, giving some words of encouragement to Masha Slamovich, getting her ready for round number two. Marina Shafir all alone, no one in her corner. A lone wolf into, a, into this, and, I, and you got to imagine it's something about the focus of Shafir. To take that minute to maybe maybe calm her mind. She doesn't want to hear the words of anyone else. She doesn't want the encouragement from a corner. She just wants to get back into the fray. As the action begins here, main event on IWTV. Big fight feel here in Williamstown, New Jersey. And Alyssa, again, you go back recently here on IWTV. Masha Slamovich defending that championship against Jordan Blade. And in cage combat, she was able to get the victory. But not a lot of time to recover before this fight against Shafir. You have to think the challenger probably a little bit fresher. I mean, definitely a little bit fresher is Marina Shafir coming into this bout, making her CFU debut in a major way. She catches the kick there of Slamovich and looks to take over and a modified dragon screw of her own and then goes right to work on that ankle. Oh my God, the Russian Dynamite is, oh, I thought was in some trouble, but very quick with a back elbow and now is on top of Shafir. Might have snuck one in there right there before the referee's able to see it and Masha Slamovich gonna try to grab the guillotine and Shafir doing a nice job with some head movement to escape as Shafir tries to come right back the other way. And now Marina Shafir in a stand-up position, once again utilizing that height. And again, she might have gotten caught there by Masha Slamovich. Yeah, Slamovich was definitely holding, it looked like she was holding on to the ankle of Shafir. As Shafir in a stand-up position. As Slamovich back to a vertical base in her own right. Oh, and Masha! Oh, taking off her feet! Catches her with that back leg round kick. Down goes Marina Shafir. And the CFU champion now looks to take advantage of this opening. Looking to take advantage, and looks like Slamovich is holding onto the cage and Alyssa, for leverage. We know she can't do that, as Marina Shafir trying to escape now. Wait, wait, was that a tap? The referee calls for the bell. <laughs> Shafir.
Shafir screaming that it's not over. Alyssa, let's take a look at the replay here. Slamovich clearly grabbing the cage wall for leverage while grounded. Shades of Shafir and Live Rock and Invicta. I don't know if Shafir tapped, but the referee clearly seems to believe she did. The referee made the decision in this matchup. Shafir cannot be happy here. History repeating itself as Slamovich clearly doing her homework on Shafir's past fights. You have to wonder what the referee saw if there was indeed a tap by Marina Shafir. I mean, however controversial this ending may have been, I know that we have not seen the last of what's transpiring between these two competitors. This seems to be far, far from over, but we're gonna head back to the cage. Sam Laterna, please tell us what went down. The winner of this match via rough stoppage in round two and still combat fights other than champion, Russian Dynamite. So controversy has surrounded Maja Slamovich in the past here in Combat Fights Unlimited. But this to, takes it to a whole nother degree here as Alyssa Marino, Marina Shafir, loses this bout via referee stoppage, but she seems to have a whole lot of gas left in the tank. You are absolutely right about that. I mean, and, and Marina Shafir, I think, was still defending herself to a degree, but it came down to the official's decision. Certainly could have gone either direction, Alyssa, but Maja Slamovich will leave the problem with even more problems for the entire roster of Combat Fights Unlimited as she is successful yet again as the champion.